experience standing up and, and then talking my background is actually the first job and for many years I actually did a terrace for a living. So this is some change but um, through life experience, life situations has got me here from this today. I'd just like to thank Ian Ken and the lovely Marlene who I've got to know extremely well over the last um, I suppose year or so. Um, it's been great. I was actually um, at a concert last night in the lodge. Um, for those of you that were there, um, Jennifer Bates had a real treat like myself. It was just absolutely fantastic. And I, was, I was invited um, by the, the, the Robert and his wife, um, his daughter. And um, I was just, uh, my expectations of the night were extremely low. But as soon as I, uh, I um, opened up and listened to the, the singers, it just completely blew, blown me away. And I was hanging over for most of the evening. It was fantastic. So I'll just reiterate a few of the things that I spoke about last night. So, just touching on what Cain said, um, my name is Ray Cunningham and um, my sister Rosine um, is here tonight and um, we are from the organisation PIPS um, Newcastle District. Um, for those of you who are unaware of what that means, PIPS it actually represents Public Initiative for Prevention of Suicide. And we are all about prevention, our message is about prevention in whichever way we can. And um, right from the get-go, for us after being touched with suicide within our own family, we knew that it was important, yes, to help people that have been um, bereaved by suicide, but the most important, most important message that we need to deliver was to get out into the community and speak about prevention, speak to people and help them feel comfortable that it's okay to talk about tough situations that they're going through. Because through tough situations in our own lives, my life and such such life, it's got us here. And then people within our own organisation has helped us, pulled us through some tough times. And we continue to have tough times and challenges every single day. And it's having a support network that we do have around us. And it is growing at an aggressive rate. And within that organisation, we find that we can accomplish anything. Now, we have said, PIPS Newcastle District has been up and running now for seven years and our committee has been going on, we're just into our, we're just coming up into our, our eighth committee meeting and we've got a fantastic bunch and we all, we all, our vision, follow the same vision, our primary purpose is to help each other in whichever way we can and we'll feel that we are achieving that. Under the umbrella of PIPS um, we set up a separate organisation that again works as an arm of PIPS and it's called um, Mind You Made On Yourself. We actually have three flyers and um, we'll ha hand them out um, to you all at the end of the night. And when we set that up seven or eight months ago, um, our idea was then to, um, it's a Facebook, um, through Facebook page, our idea then was to which way could we reach out to the younger generation for them to access information chat to somebody um, that is open to hear and um, help in whichever way we can. We felt that it was much more comfortable for people either by texting us or sending us a private message on Facebook rather than coming up this in the street here and struggling with something. You know, and that first initial point of contact through your Facebook has led us now to that three people is actually managing the page that is that busy and then um, we would have direct messages Daily, on a daily basis and it's extremely, extremely successful for us and we're having some fantastic feedback. Um, just at the moment, through our Facebook page, we have, um, this on a weekly basis, we're up to nine, nine, um, week, uh, nine counseling sessions, individual counseling sessions um, that is run through the Facebook page and that would be one to one counseling for now, anywhere up to 12 weeks. And depending on that, on the person's financial position, if they are working and they can pay for it, fantastic. If not, we will support in whichever way we can. Um, and it is, it is going extremely well for us and the, the feedback we get is fantastic. And just to see the change in people's lives is truly, truly um, inspirational. So uh, just a little bit more about Mind You Make Yourself. So, through the Facebook page, we tend then to deliver courses, and we're delivering courses at the moment in Castle Island. It's called the Feel Good Factor, and it's fantastic. From the first hour when we advertise it on our Facebook page, um, every position 
in, in the um, course was snapped up. It was snapped up and it was fantastic. We're in our fourth week now on Tuesday and um, we're having loads of interaction from um, our audience, more so than Marlene. <laughs> and it's fantastic. We're really challenging um, our facilitator, Tom's views, and it's great, some great interaction. Um, we do you know, some core beliefs that's been challenged, but um, it's great to hear people's um, thoughts, sharing, and plenty of laughs. We're actually starting our second course now in um, Dow Patrick next Wednesday, or this Wednesday coming, and it um, will be running for six weeks. And I think we've only two places left, and again, it just it is filled up extremely quick for us. And the feedback that we we're we're getting already, the excitement we're getting from people is it's really 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 encouraging. So we do, unfortunately you do find it through talks, information evenings, a lot of people do come up to this and say, and say this, unfortunately when they hear the name Pips, it's too late. And that can be the case for us as a family, it was too late when um, we heard we, 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 we heard we Pips. So we really made that our um, drive to, to get out and um, spread the word in whichever way we can. And evenings like this, it's fantastic. Last night, we give an opportunity to speak and let people know what we're all about. It was fantastic, fantastic. And I think, I think it's important to realise something that I've struggled with personally. Whereas um, when in life, your daily challenges, whether work, whether it be relationships, and um, you get setbacks, it's important to realise no matter how much of a positive mindset you have, your faith, how you get up and start your day, it's important to realise that we are humans, human beings, and we do fall short. But it's important to get up again. The next day when you get up with the right tensions again, and you fall short again, get back up. Get back on the horse if you like. And we find with the people within our organisation, it makes it much, much easier to help us through the tough times. Because life it's tough, but it's also fantastic. It's also fantastic, and the people that we have met through these tough experiences is truly inspirational, um, and um, so rewarding, and it makes it all worth worthwhile. Um, so we'll have events, and on, on a on a weekly basis, with things going on, on our Facebook page, we push put everything through it, whether it's fundraising, whether it's the likes of Feel Good Factory information evenings. We had a good friend of ours, a doctor from Belfast, come down and spoke um, a few weeks ago, and we had 60 people at it, and it was fantastic, feedback fantastic, very, very positive message came out of it, and we do try to promote that the best way we can, that this is a positive organisation, and, um, and we're trying to drive that board whichever way we can, and just to help people realise we are just, we're just normal guys, gals, like you. And um, we just we have come through tough experiences in our life that's enabled us to share how we get through it. And that's 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 it. So from our counselling to our financial services, free financial, uh, you know, we're able to offer financial advice to to people that may be struggling. And obviously in the present climate, it is a big topic. And some of the fantastic fantastic feedback that we're getting from people just going for an initial meeting for within half an hour of sitting down and talking about their affairs, sort it out, sort it out, you know, and then um, giving them guidelines. So what we really do, what my role, sister's role is to look, listen and, and link into to, to, to the correct professionals and we, we step back from there. So our main event this year that which we're extremely excited about is our Christmas Day dinner that we're holding in the, the Kilmegan Centre, Paris Centre, on Christmas Day, um, and we're holding it, it's from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, so coming on Tuesday, to speak a little bit more about it. We're extremely excited with people coming from as far away as Dungannon, Kilog, Castlereagh, um, and the support we've got from the health service tonight has been fantastic, and it's just, um, it's just been really, really, um, again, overwhelming, overwhelming. So there's a lot of good stuff happening. And there's a lot of fantastic people within our group. And we do try to strive and um, do the best we can. And we're open to um, constructive criticism. And um, again, we are learning as we go along. 
as Ken says, and nothing experience bigger, but we'll take a little bit away from each thing we do and try to apply it and get better and, and sort of brush off the rough, rough edges. Um, so we'll just leave you with a, a quote that I heard recently uh, from Martin Luther King. A man is not uh, judged by the seat of his comfort. He is judged when he is faced with true, true first day. So when you do get knocked down, get back up again. Drop us a message on Facebook. Just ask us, you know, how things are or something you're struggling with. Try to be, again, make that first point. The hardest thing is making that first point of contact, send that first message. And you'll realise after that, when you get a reply, you'll realise to yourself, God, why did it take me so long to do it? Just nearly forgot, we're, we have a wee premises now in Kessel and we're having our open meeting, our, our open day on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Um, it's just above property directions in the main street, just this side of Quinn's Bar. Um, and it's on the third floor, it's just a wee apartment and um, we're really excited and um, it's been going extremely well for us. So that's a Saturday um, from 3. Mm -hmm. And I'd just like to thank you and Marty and Ian Robbins. Thank you.